Salut everyone, Nobara 40 was just released one week ago by Glorious Eggroll and his team. And obviously, we had to test it live on my stream uh, with La Crème de la Crème Club. And guess what? Glorious Eggroll came into the chat and had uh, some exchange with us. It was actually pretty fun. And one thing that came out from our conversation was the fact that the overall approach of the distro changed a tad, tad bit, tad, tad bit, yeah, I think this is the way you say it, like it changed a little for this specific release. So, was the Glorious Egg Roll and his team able to solve the issues they had in the past? This is what we're gonna see in this video. Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. You certainly know it, I already reviewed this distro, I think like six or seven months ago, and I'm not planning to redo a full review of the distro itself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a link in the description below for you to have already a better understanding of what really Nobara is all about. But in this video, I'm going to be more covering the release number 40 of, uh, I would say, this piece of art when it comes to uh, Linux gaming and content creation. So as you now understand it, this video won't really have the feeling of the other one. I would go through uh, my uh, feedback towards the update and what was uh, really the issue that Nobara39 encountered during his little like uh, seven or eight months life cycle. So if you are not aware of it, Nobara39 lived through the transition from KDE 5 to uh, KDE 6, or as we call it, Plasma 5 to uh, Plasma 6. And it has been a little bumpy. I'm, I'm quoting Glorious Egg here when he mentioned like he has been a little bit bumpy because the Nobara team decided to push KDE 6 in a state which was maybe not uh, super, uh, I would say, stable enough for the whole community using uh, Nobara. And it has been, uh, you know, a little bit rocky. But the good news is that the whole team understands what happened. And I believe they decided for this release to take a different approach and to make sure that everything was really squared and really, uh, really, uh, I would say, like, stable uh, for this Nobara 40 release. And I don't know if you remember my review of Fedora 40. I'm going to put the link in the description below too. But what came out from the review of Fedora 40 was really also like a polished version of the 39 version of Fedora. And I do believe like Nobara is kind of like following this trend there to make sure that the products they have right now will uh, fulfill the need of their user without, you know, taking too much risk when it comes to, you know, bugs or uh, anything related to like new issue uh, with packages that might be a little bit too early. And guys, it shines. In, in this distro of Nobara, it does shine because one of the uh, big issues I had with the previous, uh, you know, uh, review uh, about Nobara was the fact that, you know, like it's, it's, it's not a one-man show, but the Nobara team is not huge and sometimes you know decision to push uh, a specific package maybe a little bit too early could affect the community so personally you know i'm a arch boy and i love when things start to be a little bit like uh, you know bumpy because i i still believe that pushing some of those updates is is worth it because first like we can debug them and help to the development of the app wh which is fine but also you're going to have the advantage to, uh, you know, test them before everybody else and, and take advantage of the new feature, right? But I do understand that by using Nobara, maybe you expect a little bit more like uh, stability. And dude, like for this release, I can tell. Glorious Eggroll and his team decided to slow down everything, push something really polished, and we will see if they actually succeed. So we're going to go with what's new and how they uh, really like went towards it. So as you can see here, I'm on Nobara. Uh, this is the install. Like I installed it on hard here. Uh, so they are running 
uh, a kernel uh, 6.8. And if you go through the patch note, you're going to see right away that it's mentioned that they decided to stay on this kernel because the 6.9 was kind of a pain with a lot of like uh, bug report that they didn't want to go through on their end to fix. So they decided to, to stay on 6.8, which is a, a solid kernel. And on top of that, uh, they are testing 6.10 right now to make sure like everything is going to be fine. So I do believe they're going to totally avoid 6.9. So you can see right away the direction they are taking, right? The kernel 6.9 is buggy. We don't want to spend time to debug it and push our own version of the kernel. We're going to stop it. We're going to wait for 6.10 and, and move on when it's really uh, ready for, I would say, production and, you know, deployment for the Nobara community. And this is a great example, right? They kind of did the same thing with uh, a lot of other, like, applications there. I don't want to go through the whole change log, but it kind of gives you uh, where they are at in terms of, like, vision and philosophy. And this problem, I mentioned it in my previous video, and I think they fix it. Like, it's, it's, it's a really good way to uh, mitigate the type of bugs, which is, like, just sometime wait a little bit before pushing uh, some of those packages. So now, another point related to uh, the improvement of the distro is related to their update manager. So I don't know if you remember the previous one, it was written in Bash. So this one has been rewritten in python and you can see right away the interface is different is you still have the log here but you have a little gui here which show you like the system update then the flat pack user update and the flat pack system update and it's going to do that pretty nicely integrated uh, with uh, the actual notification bar here and a little pop-up is going to pop i do think it's it's a really good job i really like the interface there Maybe it needs a little bit more, you know, like work on the UI overall. But this is a detail. I like the direction it's taking. As you see, like it's, it's going very fast. There is also a, 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 some type of script we check if you have any issue uh, related to your uh, dependency. And for the first time I did install the distro, the little uh, fix script pop up and put everything like straight within the distro and Guys, this is a, a breath of fresh air. I really like the direction it's taking. I still need a little bit of work because, you know, like I have to say something negative about it. But uh, overall, it's, it's really good. So another good work from the Nobara team there. And while we are talking about those nice improvements, uh, let me talk about what's going on with La Crème de la Crème Club on my channel. Because I'm going to make this shameless plug in promoting my channel right now because you have been a lot to enjoying my content because we just reached this week the 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. And guys, I'm really thankful for that. But I have to put this shameless plug in the middle of the video because normally I put it at the end and I ask you guys if you watch it and put a comment below and nobody did it on my latest video, which means you are not uh, listening to me asking to subscribe, put a thumbs up to this video, but also join La Crème de la Crème Club by becoming a member on YouTube or Patreon. And guys, I have to say this uh, shameless plug because, you know, if you're enjoying the content and you want to help me continue to do what I'm doing, I do need your support. This is my uh, full-time uh, gig here. And uh, yes, I need you. So if you can, I will really appreciate that. And uh, yes, yes, thank you very much. Now, back to the video. Now, something else I want to mention, you won't find Discover in the Nobara uh, version of KDE anymore. And I don't think you're going to find GNOME software in the GNOME version of Nobara anymore. And why? Because Nobara come now with a package manager, which has the responsibility to replace discovery. And let me tell you, this thing is awesome. Okay, like I, I, it already existed before, but now it comes with, uh, you know, flat pack included in it. Uh, you can search whatever you want here. And you see, you're going to find the version you want. So if you want the uh, package normal, like RPM version is going to be here. But if you want the, the flat pack, it's going to be here. I already installed it, so it pop up there. But guys, this is just uh, awesome. 
So to me, it's a pretty nice application, uh, which will do, in my opinion, a really good job when it comes to uh, installing like new packages and, uh, you know, managing everything out of the box. So uh, again, like something which is going in the right direction, in my opinion. So when it comes to theming and everything else, I'm not going to be really pushing it in that direction. I'm a big fan of uh, the look overall of uh, the theme of Nobara. I'm a big sucker for the purple and dark approach, so it's really subjective. Uh, you know, like I, I think I think they did a great job uh, when it comes to that, but I don't want to dig too much into it because, you know, theme is really something you like or you don't like and don't want to spend too much time on that. I'd rather to, to talk about what is under the hood. If we continue, you're going to notice too that this version of Nobara comes only with Wayland. You can still uh, install X11, but they are just following the actual like approach of Fedora in general. Fedora 40 does the same. Also for KD Plasma, so we have the 6.1 version here. And I think GNOME is still on 46, uh, which is great, and don't get me wrong. But here for this, you know, like desktop environment, and display protocol they are just following fedora big line there in my opinion like this is the way to go kd plasma 6 is now totally stable but you can see that uh, glorious egg roll and his team like waited a little bit before like pushing nobara to make sure like everything was really smooth i do believe fedora has been released like two months or two months and a half ago i'm talking about fedora 40 so they take their time right but by taking their time, they made sure that the experience on your hand will be smooth, and it's the case. Now, let's talk about gaming. For gaming, what I did, I did install the distro live, and then I played Elden Ring, I think, for three hours or two hours. Uh, let me tell you, like, the experience was perfect. Uh, the kernel, even if it's 6.8 version, does the job. You're gonna have a state-of-the-art performance when it comes to gaming with Nobara. I'm repeating myself. If you watch my previous review of Nobara, like, you know, you can go wrong uh, with this distro. It's, 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 it was really nice. The updates that come out of this, I would say, like, if you look at the, the new, like, Proton launcher called Umu. <laughs> Sorry if my pronunciation is good or bad. Like, I apologize for that. Glorious Egrol, if you watch the video, uh, uh, yes, sorry for uh, destroying uh, your uh, naming there. Uh, but also, like, don't forget to uh, accept my friend request on, on Discord. Yeah, don't, don't be that guy. I'm just saying. But like, you get it, right? Like, uh, you have all the latest features from Glorious Edgroll and his team, like, already available on the repo. You also have, like, something I didn't really know about, like, uh, this application called proton plus okay so proton plus is uh, the equivalent of proton qt but with uh, the theming of gnome so if you go on their uh, github you're gonna see like it's an alternative to proton up qt but they use a different like gui toolkit so this one look more like a, a gnome type of approach versus like proton up qt which will be like more like oriented toward uh, like you know like KDE usage like in terms of like uh, vision aspect and when i ask uh, our buddy glorious egg roll like why they took the decision to switch from proton up qt toward proton plus he told me that proton up qt apparently was generating a lot of error and problem on some like correlations there i never had an issue with it but apparently it was causing issues so they decided to move to this one i tried it it's it's actually not bad you can download the uh, uh, all the most famous Proton here, uh, wh which is which is pretty good. Another like uh, nice improvement I've seen is the fact that Team is now like tweaked to have uh, a specific like command line. I don't want to get too deep there, but specific command line in Linux that will improve your download. Something that should be directly, in my opinion, included in Steam because I noticed on a lot of distro, if you don't activate those two lines, your download speed are going to be really really slow. Uh, here it, it's already like by default because the Nobara team like put uh, this little tweak already available right off the bat so it's, it's pretty nice uh, now let's talk about content creation so for content creation i did try obs studio and here we have obs studio uh, literally like pimped 
out of this world. I really like it. There is a lot of features uh, which are not available on the OBS normal version. Uh, again, I would say like you won't have the latest, latest version. But is it really bad or good? I don't know. It will really depend on your hand. I think they still have the version 30 in terms of like, you know, bump version. Uh, the latest one, I believe, is the hotfix, which is a 30.2.1 or .2 here. So it's not the latest, latest. But don't get me wrong, it's going to do a perfect job. I have to say, this is a pretty good OBS. And it's not the flat pack version, which is, in my opinion, even better. So here, content creation, you're going to be solid. When it comes to DaVinci Resolve, they have their own like DaVinci Resolve script installer, which work also out of the box. Content creation, you are going to be solid with this distro, uh, nothing to add. And now the last point, which is one of the most important points I want to talk about here, is the fact that you have now access. So I, th I thought everything was already accessible for Nobara, but apparently not. And now you're going to have access to everything related to the distro, all the script, all the you know uh, image uh, generation script, like everything is going to be available on GitHub. So I did believe that everything was already there, but it was written on the patch note that now it's available to the public. If you go on the RPM source, like you can see like a lot of things have been updated there. You can you can put your head into that. You might be able also to contribute, make some PR there. But the idea here is it's just to be like more transparent when it comes to the different change related to Nobara. And I think this is a really good, uh, I believe, like step uh, for the uh, Nobara project to get, I would say, like uh, more uh, visibility uh, for everybody outside, whether you are a user who just want to know what's new uh, within the code, or maybe the developer out there who want to participate to the project itself. So yeah, that's, that's super positive. So how do I conclude this one? I want, I want to make a little reference to my review of Fedora 40. So if, if you look at Fedora 40, it has been their best so far distro, even if it was uh, crippled by little bugs that will literally like kill the, the gaming experience, for example. I'm, I'm thinking about the Valheim issue encounter. I also like advise you to go watch the video there to understand what I'm talking about. But to make a, a little like bridge between those two releases, because they are linked, uh, Nobara 40 is the best so far from Nobara. I think uh, Nobara team, Glorious Egrol and his, his, his friends there, they did a really good job. Like they did a really good job because they are able to, to go through this uh, new release by really correcting what was kind of like lacking in the previous one. But they are also correcting the issue related to Fedora 40. And I'm going to mention again, like uh, the issue related to Valheim and the fact that I couldn't load the, the save uh, from my world with Valheim because the game would just crash and freeze. And it was so weird. I thought it came from, you know, my computer at the beginning. And then I went to ProtonDB just to see that everybody running Fedora 40 was losing their mind over there and having the same problem. And then I noticed that the actual like save was also loading on over distro. I was like, darn. That sucks because Fedora 40 was really good. But guess what? On Nobara 40, everything works. It works. Uh, again, they did a great job. I think uh, it's, it's, again, like their best release so far. The idea of like slowing down on certain key aspects of the distro is, in my opinion, like the best decision they made because now their distro really fulfills a specific, I would say, like use case, which is, you know, gaming with the latest feature, but also, uh, you know, a little bit less cutting edge. Uh, and by being a little bit less cutting edge, I think it's going to appeal to a lot of people who doesn't want to go further, you know, and, and go on distro, we're going to be so cutting edge that maybe sometimes the features are not worth the type of bug and regression they're going to get. So, if they are able to keep it that way, I think this is going to be a, a, a really, a really uh, solid distro in uh, the coming month and, and why not uh, years, if they are able to, to keep it this way, right? So yeah, that's all. Uh, what I have to say is like, thank you very much for watching. 
and uh, give a thumbs up again uh, to this video if you liked it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Until then, bisous bisous.